I'm here with Jason Cahill. He is the founder of Transmission. Jason, what's your idea? So Transmission is a logistics marketplace that directly connects shippers and truckers. Right now, one in five trucks is driving empty, and we've built a mobile application that connects those truckers with shippers in need of moving freight faster. We're disrupting the $53 billion freight market space. We've already got 580 trucks on the platform, and it's a great opportunity for shippers to reduce their carbon footprint in a new and innovative way. All right, sounds like a great example of the sharing economy. We'll see what the judges tell you. Well, you just heard Jason Cahill's pitch for his company, Transmission. Our panel today, we have Amy Wu from NewsCred and David Aronoff from Flybridge Capital Partners. So, Amy, I'm going to ask you, what did you think of the pitch? Yeah, I thought it was really interesting. I think you're going after a really interesting market. It's, um, it's large. You know, it's, it's harder for, for everyone to understand. Um, there's a lot of barriers to entry. Um, it'd be really interesting to get a little bit more perspective about the, the market, you know, um, how, you know, how big is it? Also, are shippers and long-term um, relationships with a lot of carriers, how are you going to disrupt that? Um, are there a particular segment of shippers and carriers that you're going after? It's a great question. Um, the first thing you asked was market size. So $53 billion was spent last year on um, freight brokers. So those are the people that are already looking for a third party to sort of uh, intermediate that space, arrange the freight. Um, that's the size of the market that we're going after. Now, as far as the relationships, absolutely. Some of these are 20 plus year relationships. So we're not trying to sort of boil the ocean all at once. We're going after the, the low hanging fruit for us is really the, um, it's, it's the one offs, it's the problem freight. Uh, Amazon got in the market by selling books no one wanted to buy. We move freight that no one wants to move. And we found a lot of great customer success around that um, segment of moving troubled freight. David, what was your take on the pitch? So I think the pitch is great. You know, to be fair, we've actually had conversations with Jason in the past, and we're big fans of the company. You know, the market size question is something that we often have with our startups, and in this case, it's massive. And even if you cut it down by 90% to get to $5 billion, it's still a huge market for a startup to try and tackle, which is awesome. I guess you know, the question for me more about these kinds of relationships really um, points to scale. How much scale do you need in order to actually make this a big business for you as you think about picking off those one-offs? Sure. So we start picking off one-offs, but because we're completely focused on customer success, we have 100% custom repeat business at this point, mm -hmm. and we feel that while they start with one-offs, they very quickly realize that unlike their typical broker, load board, whatever service they're using, um, there's, there's a lot more value in what we do. We have 100% guarantee. We have quality assurance. We have a very transparent platform. So we don't need to get to, say, 10,000 shipments, 1,000 truckers to have a viable business. We'll get there in time. But right now, we're really going deep on the relationships we have to convert them from one load a month to 15 loads a month to 40 loads a month. And that's really what we've done. Jason, bigger picture, though, this is almost like the Uber, right, of, of trucking, the Uber of moving goods. In other words, you're speaking to this idea of the sharing economy, right, and basically sure. trying to not let trucks ride around empty. Absolutely. And as far as some of the questions, have you thought about these? Are they new as you move forward? How are you integrate some of the concerns that the judges are raising? Um, sure. So um, partnerships are really uh, key to B B2B model success. Um, I can't release the names of either company right now, but by the end of next week, we'll have two great partnerships that are really going to push us forward. One is a, uh, I'm a military veteran, so um, a lot of truckers are military vets as well. We have a great, large uh, military affinity group that is going to help push and uh, connect us, as well as a um, uh, navigational software partner that we think can really um, get in front of a lot of trucks. So based on what you've heard, Amy, would you introduce Jason to your investing partners? I would definitely. I think it's a really interesting space, and if you guys can prove a lot of traction with the market, then it's very interesting. All right. So, David, you've heard more yeah. since the first time you met. What do you think? Well, I think that the, the evolution of the company is really terrific in such a short period of time. The traction is great. I, I definitely think that, you know, continuing the conversations would be great. All right. Jason Cahill, thank you very much. Our pitch there, the co-founder and CEO of Transmission and a